You know who I blame? Who? I blame Ray Shiro. Oh my god. <laughs> Why do you blame I, Ray Shiro? Because he is easily the most disappointing NHL general manager this year. If there was a grade worse than F, I would give it to Ray Shiro. You know what the thing is with Ray Shiro, though? Uh, what? Is you look at the moves that he made just over the offseason alone. The two big moves that he made, uh, bringing in Nikita Gusev and bringing in P.K. Subban. Of course, he brought had Jack Hughes, etc., etc. You're basically, I mean... Who we didn't know about PK and what was going on at the time, but the problem with those trades is that he didn't address the one thing that was wrong with the team last year, or one of the things that was wrong with the team, which is goaltending. That is the biggest issue with Ray Shiro, I think. If he addressed the goaltending, don't you think this team would look a lot different? Oh, yeah. And their solution was Louis Domingue. The, I, yeah, I, he, the thing, it's not that his solution was Louis Domingue. He brought in Louis Domingue too late. He should have addressed this over the offseason because by the time the season started, who were you going to get? Who was available, and what were you pl- willing to give up? I think the only name that comes to mind is probably Martin Jones. <laughs> and that's honestly, he's not as bad as Corey Schneider. But how much of an improvement is that over Corey Schneider, considering that Mar- Martin Jones is extremely inconsistent lately? Well, uh, that's fair. Well, I see like last two seasons, but I, I mean. If I'm going to give crap to Mark Bergevin for not doing something, I'm going to give crap to the Devils for their best solution being Mackenzie Blackwood and hoping Corey Schneider comes back from double hip surgery and is your solution. I can't do that. But he tried to fix around the one. It, I'm Listen, I'm not arguing whether or not uh, Ray Shear was a good GM and if he made good or bad moves. The fact that he didn't fix the one issue is the biggest concern for me. They didn't give it any support, too. No offense, P.K. Subban is in the defensive stalwart. Right. Like, you think, you know, what well, was fantastic for the Arizona Coyotes right now is, you know, Taylor Hall has been fantastic. I think 13 points in 14 games. Nick Yalmerson's a great stabilizing force in the back end. And that's the kind of guy they need in New Jersey. Sammy Vatnin's not that guy either. So I just, I think Gusev, you know, I've never heard a single thing about his two-way play. It's fantastic if you're the Leafs and you can outscore your problems most, night, most nights and then have Freddie Anderson to hold you back. But, you know, Corey Schneider, Mackenzie Blackwood. I, I understand maybe there's not a lot in the market, but it doesn't mean you're, you know, you wait till how long to go get Louis Domingue. That's and uh, by the way, I love how they, they – so apparently this Ray Shiro stuff was a change, you know, a difference in opinion of how to approach the rest of the season or where the team goes forward. Well, did you not have a vision of where this team was going when you traded Taylor Hall? Am I stupid, Alex? Or Wait, say – what do you mean? Say that again. Sorry. Apparently the reason for Shiro's dismissal was a change in the thought of where the organization Yeah, yeah. I, I, heard, I heard that as well. So I think there was Friedman, you know, our close personal friend. Um, you know, I just – I think when you dis- – you're at the point where you decide to trade Taylor Hall, maybe at that point you should have an idea of where you're going as a franchise. I wonder if he wanted to t- – I wonder if Shiro wanted to take a different approach to the rebuild. Here's the thing. We talk – We I've heard lots of people talk about teams rebuilding. You can't have the same general manager rebuild the team that he built. 
No, because that... then he he gets stuck between media, you know, <clears throat> building and retooling. <clears throat> Mark Bergevin. Sorry, my throat got. Sick. So, I think the Ray Shiro thing was pretty much he was gone by the end of this season. I. I think that was pretty much for me. That was the consensus that if he's not, if he, they're not going to fire him midseason, he's pretty much gone by the end of the year. I think. I wonder if. A, pardon. Pardon, Alex. Uh, yeah. I need to go for like two minutes. Sorry, but I just need something to just quickly come up. Okay. Oh, sorry. A few of my textbooks just got delivered, so I just needed to quickly. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Sorry, no. what were you saying about that? Sorry, you know, te textbooks and that crap. Sorry. There's I, what I was kind of I got off track there. Um, I think this is my own opinion. I don't know what went on behind the scenes. Is maybe there was a difference of opinion on how they were going to go about this rebuild. And I think Ratio maybe wanted to keep the UFAs, considering Wayne Simmons and PK Subban both have kind of come out and said, we want to stick this out for the long haul. And maybe ownership wants to say, you know what? Let's just get rid of everyone and and bring in as many assets and the best assets possible. Mm -hmm. That's something that could uh, could have have gone on. I'd I'd be interested to see what they do now because I think the thing is with this team is since they uh, let go of John Hines. The team has been doing okay. Listen, uh, the team has – the actual team really hasn't changed other than they've traded Taylor Hall. But they've looked, I guess, some, somewhat better. What I question with the firing now is why you let Ray Shiro – trade Taylor Hall knowing that there's a difference of opinion. The or, biggest trade you could yeah. make in the next few years and you give to a guy you're probably getting rid of. And it was the same thing, the same discussion that was had, that the two of us ha actually had in Edmonton when uh, Shirelli was fired and literally – how long ago was Koskinen's extension announced? What was, <laughs> you know, what was going on there? But other than that, I really think the firing makes sense. I think for me, it came earlier than I expected. Same. Not knowing that there was a difference of opinion. It's very much been a you're fired type of year. 